Now, most people, most normal people, would not give a flying flap about managing their payees. But research has shown that if you're using your free time to watch a video about managing payees in a money management app, you're gonna be like, oh, <laughs> new wine app activity, <laughs> sign me up. And with that, I say, hello, welcome to our club. If you're finding your payees list in YNAB to be getting a little sloppy or your transactions are ending up in the wrong categories, it may be time for a good old fashioned cleanup. Today, we're gonna walk through seven ways to clean up your payees in YNAB. And fun fact, we're actually gonna demo on my personal budget because my payees are wacko right now. So if you've ever wondered how Hannah spends her money, You're about to find out, for better or for worse, you're about to find out. Now, managing payees is a feature only available on the web app. So grab a cup of coffee and whip out that computer. When you log into YNAB, click the menu and select manage payees. Here we get a big old list of all the places you've either spent at or received money from. My husband and I started this particular budget in September of 2021. Literally on our honeymoon, I kind of wish I was kidding, but unfortunately we really are that couple. So this list contains every single person or place we've ever exchanged money with in the last two and a half years. Yeah, it's kind of, it's a little diary, if you will. So to begin my payee cleanup of 2024, let's dive in with number one, combining duplicates. Sometimes you may find yourself with just 2,300 versions of the same payee. Introducing the Z's Divine Espresso section of my payee list, you're usually gonna find this happening if you use direct import as payees can import slightly differently each time or if you yourself record a payee slightly differently from the last time you recorded it. Today, we're just gonna smash them all together. All I'm gonna do is select all my Z's payees minus the one that's actually a hair salon. And fun fact, look at this. That, my friends, is what we call a joy bringer right there. Click into this combine and rename box. Rename this something a little more grammatically satisfying and click combine. Now our five have become one. A second way to clean up your payees is by consolidating specific payees to generic payees. Does this particular situation resonate with anyone else? This is all we could come up with. Is this a Midwest thing? I don't know. They're all the same in my mind anyway. So find all the gas stations in your payee list and rename them all to, drum roll please, gas station. Don't say it like that though, that was weird. On a similar note, you know when you go on a vacation to Charleston, South Carolina, and then you never go there again, and yet you have six different restaurant payee names forever in your payee list, despite the fact that you will never go there again? You don't need to record them with their actual name, just record the payee as restaurant and give the other details in the memo. Alternatively, for these types of payees that you may never use again, rather than renaming them, you can also just uncheck this little box at the top to exclude this payee from the drop-down menu when entering a payee for a new transaction. So if I don't think I'm ever gonna be buying a bag of nuts from Skyline Convenience at so-and-so airport ever again, YNAB won't even present it to me as an option when selecting a payee. I don't even wanna see their name. Just kidding, they're fine. A third way to tidy up your payees is to double check or set up automatic categorization. YNAB does its best to learn your habits, which is how it can know that Chipotle is dining out and Piggly Wiggly's, believe it or not, is groceries. Guys, I'm serious. Who are we letting name these places? We gotta stop. But have you ever opened up YNAB to find that a category you haven't even spent from recently is overspent? That's because YNAB tried to auto-categorize a transaction for you based on your past spending and it just absolutely whiffed it. Which is fine, we all do. Luckily, we can fix this. So there's a transaction that's been bothering me for a while. Our newspaper subscription is being categorized into miscellaneous half the time, which is where I used to categorize it before I eventually gave it its own category. I also have a hunch there might be duplicate payee names in here, so let's go ahead and search that up. And yes, looks like we have two duplicate payees here, one going to miscellaneous and one going to its respective category. First, I'm just gonna combine the two, then I'll reselect them and make sure the auto categorization is going where I want it to go. Venmo is another one of our payees that can often end up in the wrong category, so let's investigate. First of all, surprise, surprise, we have three variations of Venmo payees. We can see that I turned off automatic categorization for one, the other categorizes to gifts, and the third to T-Mobile. 
it's a shared family plan thing, you wouldn't get it. Since Venmo is just a money transfer app and a Venmo transaction could rightfully be categorized into a plethora of different categories, I'm just gonna turn automatic categorization off for this payee altogether. I'll select all three, rename and combine, then reselect to ensure I have automatic categorization turned off. Now, whenever we get a transaction from Venmo, whether it's imported or I enter it myself, it will always rename itself to just Venmo. None of this transfer to or from business. I know how Venmo works, thank you. And now I can be sure I'm the one getting to decide which category my Venmo transactions go into. Number four, we can establish renaming rules for certain payees. Now, the cool thing about renaming rules is you're probably already doing it without even knowing it. Yes, we have the ability to control all on this panel right here, but we can also do this directly in our account register. For example, my gym membership imports as Crunch Fitness, but all the cool kids just call it Crunch. I would like to be a cool kid, so I wanna set a rule that changes Crunch Fitness to just be Crunch. Even if I edit the payee within my account register, click Create Crunch Payee and Save, now when I go to my Manage Payees window and search up Crunch, I can see YNAB automatically created this rule. Any transactions that import as Crunch Fitness will be renamed to Crunch. Crunch Fitness is Crunch. Now, is rules only apply when it's a perfect match word for word, letter for letter. With this rule, only the exact words crunch space fitness will automatically change to crunch. No other variation. But you can also utilize a contains rule, which will apply the rule when a payee contains the words you select. Perfect for payees with variations. So if you're getting transactions from Amazon Marketplace, Amazon Grocery, Amazon Video, and you want these to all simply ring up as Amazon, this is where you can create a contains Amazon rule for your Amazon payee. Now, before an Amazon Marketplace transaction pops into your budget, YNAB will see that the payee contains the word Amazon and change the payee to just Amazon based on your rule. This contains rule will take care of all your future Amazon transactions, but if you also wanna rename all your past Amazon transactions to just Amazon, make sure to combine these payees before implementing any new renaming rules. And just in case you ever need to, number five, clean up by deleting payees. Most of these previous tips will help clear up any straggling payees you've got, but if you still have some payees you just don't need anymore, the business closed down, you haven't shopped there in years, it's just a typo payee, you can delete it. Initially, when I saw my ACE steering and brakes duplicates, I thought, hmm, I should combine those. But when I looked into each payee name, I noticed that one had a transaction associated with it while the other had none at all. I could easily combine these to solve the duplicate or I could just delete the payee with no transactions associated with it and call it a day. But if a payee does have transactions associated with it, YNAB will prompt you to assign a new payee to it from your list instead. Maybe something generic like restaurant or closed. If you choose the no payee option, it may make it difficult to identify that transaction later on down the road. And lastly, number six, if you really wanna tidy up your payees, like really, really, consider performing a fresh start. This will copy everything about your budget, the categories, the targets, the accounts, the notes, and yes, even the payees, and create a brand new budget for you with all this same information. The only difference is YNAB will gather up all your dollars from all your categories in the new budget and send them back up to the top to ready to assign, where you can then redistribute those dollars back out however you want. Give yourself a fresh start. From here, you can head back to your Manage Payees window and we're gonna select all your payees, but we need to make sure to deselect our transfer payees because YNAB needs these to function. Search transfer and uncheck all these boxes. From here, you can click delete and you're starting from a completely fresh payee slate. And that, my guys, is how you get just really, really hyper nerdy about the tidiness of the cracks and crevices of YNAB. I mean, listen, I get it. I'm there. It's just... Whoa. <laughs> if you have any other payee tips, tricks, or tidbits you'd like to share, leave them in the comments below. You never know when your answer, wait, you never know when you might answer someone else's question with your comment. So just drop it down there. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. 
click into this combine and rename box, rename uh, this something. <laughs> yeah. And that's all she wrote. Why are these, wow, these strings are so far out to the side. I never thought about that. Okay. Ha. <laughs> I had lip gloss on when I started this video. Not anymore. I think I'm just feeling insecure. I'm feeling insecure. And I just, uh... if nothing else, I can read really well. <laughs> oh, let's take a sip of water. Good. Hydrated. Okay, my energy is coming back. Energy is coming back. Okay, I feel better. I feel really good. Don't say okay, it's annoying. Okay. Oh, hey, <laughs> like, whoa. How do you say the word bait use again? Stop. Stop. No more. I'm done.